Twitters all the time to get the info. So let me let me throw some stuff out for you. There's some wild stuff going on. And if you can see the picture, Mike, that cloud, that is the actual picture of the black, dark cloud over Istanbul, Turkey. What? For five to six minutes, the sun, this was a sunny day. The, okay. the sun literally was blocked out, and it became midnight. This was not a solar eclipse. This is a cloud. Right. And, and you know, Istanbul used to be Constantinople. We understand the yep. Grecian Empire and the, and the Ottoman Empire, and, and Turkey yep. plays a major role in prophecy. Yeah. What, first yeah. of all, what causes that? That's well, they, looking at the um, clouds and everything else, nobody knew the storm was going to form. Nobody knew that cloud was going to form. And um, it was thick and very dense. But there was a heat bloom that began in Turkey. Guys, I'm about, so sorry. Probably about 15 minutes of those things. It just came out of nowhere, right? It came out of nowhere. Okay, so I want you guys to see that they just released this. It was 18 hours ago. And this was what happened on 4 20 exactly three days before I was given the warning and the Holy Spirit just took over. I had no idea that all these things besides Turkey going completely black, here's the proof uh, that it happened on the 20th. And as well, there was that hybrid solar eclipse that was seen in Australia it was absolutely amazing. It's 555 right now, 555, triple grace, guys. Okay, let's continue. I want you guys to hear about it. I couldn't help but to think of a couple of uh, scriptures, you know, because right. we're going to see a lot more of that fastball, the conditions. Um, I went back and took a snapshot of the conditions in, in Turkey okay. during that storm. We're going to see if, if people... You know, if they think the weather, they can handle the weather. They haven't seen the weather yet. They haven't seen what it's capable of. That wasn't a microburst. That's not what that was. That wasn't a, um, you know, some rapid uh, storm formation that was following a cold front. No. I was just corrected. Anyways, it wasn't me. It was the Holy Spirit. Pardon me, guys. I just, I have felt the need that I should say that. It was not me. It was the Holy Spirit warning in three days time. You got a three-day warning, basically, okay? So it's not me, just to make sure you guys know, I am nobody, I am nothing. I'm just a humble servant to the Lord. Amen. This formed out of nowhere. It really did. It was a force that held it there because it was the, the cloud tops were, I mean, it looked like somebody had a video in fast motion, right? Yeah. It formed out of nowhere. The heat bloom that was coming up from that thing was incredible, but... You know, it reminds me of Zephaniah 115, when it was talking about the days of wrath, a day of trouble and distress. And But it specifically says within that scripture that uh, a day of darkness and gloominess, a yep. day of clouds and thick, thick dark. darkness. Right. Yes. And that was also referenced, uh, what, twice before that? Psalms 1811 uh, and 2nd uh, Samuel, I believe, it made reference to it first. In uh, uh, 2212. So we have that clouds and thick darkness theme, Gloominess. so to speak, dealing with God's wrath, right? Yeah. And it just so happens that is the that is the think tank for the Middle East. Is this that is a are you driving saying, force in the Middle East? So you're saying this thick this cloud right here over my head on this picture, this is a is a forewarning, a sign of God's wrath. I absolutely felt that in my spirit as well, that it was a foreshadowing. As soon as I found out about the turkey thing, it's a foreshadowing of what's to come. It's foreshadowing just like it does throughout the entire Bible, except this is a warning and everybody should be paying attention. All the churches all over the world. And I believe that they really have kept this under tight lids. Nobody, a tight lid, nobody hardly even knows that it even occurred. Okay, that's where the seven churches in the book of Revelation are all located. So it's very important. That's coming. Yeah, I do believe that's a foreshadowing because yeah. that was no sensor, no meteorology, uh, no, no, no data, nowhere. Uh, the ISS and some of the satellite tracking, they picked it up as it was happening. They couldn't foresee it. Nobody could foresee it. Right. And it just, you know, how it formed and the speed at which it did form was just impossible. 
Right. So it was a it's phenomenon. Like, it was a it right. was a, it was, a, it, was a, it was supernatural. Is what I'm hearing you say. It looked like it. It was one of those uh, in a movie set or something like that. Some some CG in in real life. And some of the folks who were already doing air saunties in that area uh, or patrols in that area, they were. Uh, taken by that it was thick and very dense uh, and it just maintained itself and then it left and then the storm front came through so yeah that that really can't happen the way it was <laughs> but we're gonna have a lot more of that now uh, oh now now that and you and you quoted some great scriptures i know i read the one out of joel Okay, guys, that's all I wanted to do was show you guys and if you'd like to go back and listen to this whole interview with Mike from around the world and Pastor Paul Begley. Please go to Pastor Paul Begley's channel. But I just wanted you guys to know that what I was speaking about was words of truth and I was standing on the truth and the truth alone. Uh, so anyways, that's that. And y'all have a blessed evening. Good night.